getting even more out of your GoPro Hero or other favorite action camera? Yes, this is possible. The best 9 of the year that can turn your Hero 9 in a professional looking power horse. Let's get started. Hey everybody, really nice to see you here. Let me know how you're doing in the comment section below. My name is Michael and what we do here is to inspect cool tech action cameras. One of my favorite things to explore on the channel and probably the major reason why I started this YouTube channel. Such a pity to see that action cameras are no longer this trendy product they used to be before. But anyhow, GoPro Hero 9, which is here, it is my currently one of my favorite action cameras. Um, we want to explore the most useful accessories that you can buy right now in the summer of 2021 and probably this video is still going to be relevant in 2022 and so on and most of the accessories that we are going to review are well compatible with other brands of action cameras and you're going to see plenty of them today. Now, an important disclaimer, none of the items that I'm going to show here are because of a sponsorship, nobody has paid me to show them and I've invested my own money buying all this equipment so yeah, in that sense, I believe this video is, is as unbiased as it could be. So let's get started. There are plenty of different sets available online. Of course, a huge pile of them on the GoPro official website. While they will certainly be a perfect match, most of them are pricey. However, if you opt for the GoPro Plus service, you may get some good discounts for some accessories. From the long list with suggestions, I would highlight the max lens, increasing the field of view of your GoPro. This could be really useful if you want to film bike adventures. The other one which is good to highlight is the second generation of the three-way grip, which is part of the top 9 suggestions. Of course, all the accessories on GoPro's website are a perfect match to your beloved GoPro, so that's a very good page to start with. Now, without further ado, time to jump into my top 9 list for the Hero 9, and I'm going to start with the essentials. Storage. Among the most important components from all, if you get it wrong, the awesome footage you're gonna take might have issues or it can get completely lost. GoPro are recommending a few brands and models of microSD cards on their website, with SanDisk Extreme being among the most popular. Using a SanDisk card for the last 5 years with my GoPros was flawless, I've never lost a file using these cards, despite the occasional freezes that GoPro cameras sometimes experience. I would recommend staying at a size up to 128 gigs, because if you have a larger card, just imagine losing 256 gigs worth of videos that you just shot on the Maldives, it would be heartbreaking. Next, we want to get a few extra batteries. Two options here, going for the original GoPro batteries, around 25 bucks per piece, or getting some alternatives which may work well, but could also get at some point disabled or limited by firmware updates. We know that GoPro prefers to restrict third-party brands, especially when it comes to batteries, but I've tested a few different motors which so far work well with the Hero 9. These are among the best that I've seen, a pack of 3 by Vemico, which costs less than half of what you'd pay for the originals. Capacity is 1800 mAh, and they seem to cover around 80-90% to of the capacity of a standard original Hero 9 battery. No firmware incompatibilities, at least until now, in June 2021. Ok, going further with the suggestions for the third category, tripods. Oh, we have a lot of choices here. From the previous editions of this video series, the UFO by Photo Pro with the awesome feature to bend each of the pots in the way you need it, three ears and counting, it's still rock solid, I'm very happy with the Joby Gorilla Pod series too. Well, I do have one of the three that has already one of the capsules broken, but the two which I use with action cams are totally fine. This here is the upgraded version of the smallest Gorilla Pod with magnetic legs. Pretty nice, especially knowing that you can see with any other action cam that supports quad range mount. This year, I'm adding to the recommendations the second generation of GoPro's three way grip. It's the most expensive from the list, but one of the most unique combinations between monopod and tripod. Count this combination so that you can nail the angle you actually need. Next awesome accessory, and that's the most expensive out of all, the remote. It's a must-have if you want to go diving, because using the touchscreen underwater is clearly a no-go, and this here is nice and waterproof. 
If you don't like the idea of paying $79, you can skip it, but I can assure you that this is among the most useful GoPro accessories if you plan to use the camera for vlogging, especially if you won't be within your reach for most of the shots. If you want to save some dollars, there's a discount if you sign for the GoPro subscription service, which is about 50 bucks per year. Alternatively, you can use the smartphone app for remote control, but it's nowhere near the reliability and simplicity of the remote. You can already feel that we're slowly building a solid vlogging setup, and while the inbuilt microphones with Hero Series have always been outstanding, there are numerous complaints about crackling noises coming out of the Hero 9. So, adding an option for external microphone is a good idea. This time, I'm not gonna recommend the Media Mod because I've barely used it last year with the Hero 8. Instead, after GoPro have enabled the Type-C to 3.5mm adapter, it's the only solution I use, of course in combination with a microphone of my choice. You can have a lav microphone with a wire or a wireless solution like the Lark 150 or the Rode Wireless Go, or you can just mount a basic shotgun mic which will focus on you and reduce the surrounding noises. The latter option is the most affordable one, with the Rode Video Micro being around 60 bucks, very lightweight and easy to mount and use. If you now wonder which is the cage that I use, that's among my must-haves every year with the new generations of GoPro. I use it a lot more often than the Media Mod, and this time I've decided to buy the cheaper plastic edition of Ulanz's GoPro Hero cage. It costs only $20, adds protection, has dedicated slot for the mic adapter, cold shoe mounts, you can put there for both microphone and lights of your choice, there's a quick access to the sides, good cuts for both of the displays, and of course a quarter-inch mouth thread for a tripod. If you ask me, that's a no-brainer. The best news, this circular shape on the front is there for filters. I've always preferred variable ND filters because it's so easy to adjust the intensity at the level that you need it on the go. Speaking of filters, this is each and every year another important purchase I'm looking to get. Being a free well customer for such a long time, I'm again using their filters. There are plenty of other brands that you can find as well on the market. Free well belong to the pricey ones because of their great quality. And the filters are like sunglasses for your camera, help you to expose footage better. And if you care about filming rules, they enable you to properly match the shutter speed to the FPS in order to achieve the 180 degree rule. The standard day pack that I have in particular has three ND filters and a polarizer. The PL glass is preventing the unwanted glare from reflective surfaces such as water, snow or even windows. Since the price here is nearly $70, I would only recommend filters if you really plan to take advantage of more advanced filming concepts. There's a new surprise member this year, a device that I've shown you with the DJI Pocket 2 top accessories set, but it happens to be something that I need to show to you too, my dear action camera fans. This weirdly looking thing is called Micro Pro 2 by Scotty Makes Stuff. It's a special mount for small cameras which is meant to eliminate the wobbling effect, therefore the manufacturer claims that it covers the fourth axis of stabilization, which in most cases actually works well. Very lightweight, portable, adjustable, also pretty weird looking and with funny texture because it's 3D printed. While it wouldn't strike you with build quality, it turned into a device that I quite often use for close-ups and weird shots. You can attach different gear on it, a phone for better control, a microphone, a light, and so on. Wrapping up with the last ninth category, the bag. I'm usually very picky about carrying cases, tried many solutions through the years. The original Hero 9 case is great, but too small and limited. I've discovered the newer editions of BBM, and this one can fit a lot more gear inside than my previous favorite, which still counts, of course. Since we have the adjustable velcro base partitions, a lot more room, special sections for cables, hidden pockets to put tutorials or prints, I just like this one so, so much. Now, it's almost always full of equipment. I tend to carry most of my portable and smaller cameras inside it, alongside with all the accessories that I most often use. It's really easily accessible and well protected. No hard walls though, but good layer of softness, combined with being waterproof, and that's good enough for me. So, this is it, having seen all the top 9 GoPro Hero 9 accessory categories, most of which are well compatible with most other action cameras too, I would of course recommend taking a look at some of the cheaper accessory bundles that circulate online, because you may find some really useful add-ons, like a cheap selfie stick, suction cup and other crazy mounts. Really important is that you prioritize what you actually need and may use 
over what looks pretty cool. Because we talk about money and the point of this channel has always been to help you to use your money about tech gear the smart way. So thank you very much for watching this episode, I hope it was useful, would really appreciate if you reward our hard work by giving us a like, subscribe to the channel and even share the video with some friends and other GoPro fans. My name is Michael, wish you a fantastic day, take care and see you soon!